Well, well, good morning. We're in a undisclosed location this morning. We are looking for mushrooms. This is where I found that black the other day, but this is the only black that's come up here again, and it's three days later. But we've had rain and finally some cool nights, and uh, so they're starting to come out a little better. And then actually I found that one yesterday morning before I went to Mackey's, and uh, it and that one there. And they're so little, I've kind of left them to grow. But we're going to go beat some other hillside and see if we can't find some more. I don't know if I'll probably leave them to grow one more day. Maybe a couple more blacks will come up in here. This will tell me how good it's going to be this year. Because last year I picked 30 blacks, over 30 blacks here, great big ones. And even the half-free morels. And I ain't seen a half-free morel yet. If you're going to have a good year, the half-free morels come up. Some people call them peckerheads because they got that little bitty head on them. But they'll put this camera up so I can finish my coffee. If you can stick a one-hand coffee in the other and cigarette hanging out of my mouth. Real good, huh? <laughs> okay, back to some shrooming. Ah, boy, yesterday was an awesome day up at Mackey's. Again, thank you, Tim, buddy. I love that Apple Creek and that ads. And actually, I love everything I dug up, even all that broken stuff. Love it all, man. But right now, I want to love some morels. <laughs> well, here we are in another dislocated location. But uh, I've left this one here to grow for three days now. I think it's been, and it's probably got half its size, but it's... I'm going to go ahead and pick it this morning. Ugh. And see, it ain't big enough, that's for sure, especially on a good day. But I keep a plastic bag also. But a net sack is what you want to use in the woods. Uh, and so you're dropping your spores and you're not packing out mushrooms that's going to come up the next, oh, maybe even over the next couple hundred years. But... One of these little dudes contains anywhere from 10 to 50,000 more spores. And those are mushrooms that will come out, you know, whichever year that spore wants to pop over the next, yeah, I say 100 some years. But uh, it popped this other black up over here, and it's actually a keeper size. I hate that. I usually try to pinch them off. Well, that stays in the ground, but that's a nice size black eater. You betcha. Well, hopefully the spot's got some more for me. I got a lot of spots to go check today. I was wanting to actually go pound some dirt to look for an arrowhead too. Just depends on how the day goes, I guess. But uh, I'm gonna bag these babies up and uh, keep moving on. Yeah, buddy. I am a relic. I couldn't say undisclosed location earlier. Not enough coffee in me yet. But finding that one fresh black down there and then that other one over there, I just don't get it. I mean, some I've been taking notes for 20 years. And you think you got them figured out, and then they'll stump you. But uh, there's what we call a jack-in-the-pulpit plant. Eventually it'll grow like a little flower, but I like that's it. Maybe not. they just be that leaf throwing me off. But anyways, last year I picked, shoot, like 50 blacks in here that come up in this spot for over a course of a few days. And when I was talking about sporing, that's probably the only reason that black one ended up down there by that other little gray is because of me packing spores, but I spored this spot from another undisclosed location in a totally different area. And for about four years, every time I'd pick blacks in this other spot, I'd bring them spores here, and I'd dump them out. And I mean, I've been picking off this hill for over ten years, 
and it never grew no blacks here. It grew a couple over in that other area, but that was it. But, man, I just don't get why there's not at least one growed up here. I mean, I've looked all over right here. All over. And I mentioned a comment to someone the other day, and I was awful on it yesterday at Mackey's, but I guess that's just because I was pumped. But, uh, man, I need to try and remember to always slow that camera down. It sucks when it's all like this. <laughs> but, I don't know, man. I just don't know. The hunt continues. Well, here we are in another undisclosed location. And, uh, got my buddy Derry with me today. And his wife, Kimmy. And, uh, we've been tromping through this trail here trying to get to my spot where I'm usually used to them growing. And I said, keep your eyes out. Maybe a straggler from sporing. And Terry's like, hey, hey, you two. Look what you walked past. You walked right past it. That, that's a gray. We probably ain't gonna leave them though to grow. We'll probably pick them. Just don't know when we get here tomorrow. And, uh, hey, don't do that. Uh, well, there's one in this spot. Oh, I found a white in a spot earlier, but I'd forgot my uh, camera. But maybe we'll find some more. And then he's gonna have to go tear up some gravel. Look what Terry about stepped on. Eastern hog nose. Eastern hog nose. I ain't seen one of these. Redhead, hear him hissing? He's got his head spread out like a cobra. He looks venomous too. I said, yeah, he does. Is he really spreading now? Look at that. Yeah. He's puffing up them, them sacks on his head. He thinks, showing them, he, he thinks he's poisonous. Yep. Man, I haven't seen one of them for years. Huh? I usually see one down here about every other year. Well, we used to have them at, at the house all the time, but all the old timers said they're poisonous. But look at them. They look poisonous, don't yeah. they? Yeah. They eyes do are that. cool. He's it makes cool him have eyes. that. Makes them look like they have that diamond shaped head. They're a pissy snake, too, now. Yeah, they. next thing he'll do is ro roll over and lay, play dead if you keep messing with him. He's, now he's not being. He you don't know, think he's being hurt. He's not so scared. Well, they got cool eyes. He's heavy. Holy smokes. Oh, now he, he knows we're not going to hurt him. He's probably about three foot, maybe. Oh, yeah, look how thick he is. Yeah, he is. Frog eater. I think they mostly... Hey, he's still spread. Well, the creek's up great big, but we went from mushroom hunting to rock bar hunting, and a lot of this is covered up, but I juked at Terry to come down to it anyways. He didn't want to. He's on a... First gravel bar, it didn't have nothing on it. We ended up leaving his wife on it. So if we come down here and hunt real quick, and he was coming through here and I was going over there. Here we are, come across this pissy boy. Yeah, he's, he's funny. Right, time to go find us an airhead. Yeah, they're cool. All right, yeah, let's let him bout. He, he's pretty cold back then, ain't he? Yeah. Yeah, it's actually, I'm sweating this damn hoodie on, yeah, but it was chilly with the clouds. I bet he got washed out in the storm got washed up here, and he's just been laying there recovering. Yeah, a lot of this gravel bar hiding yet. Oh, but this is too good to live. Well, here we are, down there on this next gravel bar. A lot of it hiding yet, out there underwater. Oh, it is just being a low productive day. Low on the shrooms, low on the arrowheads. But, this girl bar did have something. Got a tool. Nice looking tool, too. Actually, it looks like an adz. 
It's been a great long time. Mm. Got that. No tip was knocked off. Not a lot of ads are made like that. Some pretty color in that thing. Well, don't know where the day's going to lead. To another creek and another arrowhead or to another batch of woods and another mushroom. But we will be back for sure. Thought I'd give you a little look at just as to how big the creek got up out of it. And where I'm standing at now, I'm probably over that ditch line there is where the creek is below that hill but I'm probably a hundred yards away from it and then oh you can see how tall that is compared to me but I mean even plumb way over there now just all over the place I mean the creek was up and out of it big time well, it'll be shrooming in the mornings and hunting in the afternoon. I have to beat myself to death and go every day. But that's okay. That's what I like. Ash tree. No mushroom. OCD. Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. This is a true disease. I'm a prime example of it. Oh, but here I've been, and I've rested a few times a day, but pretty much been out since daylight. Because I had checked one spot earlier, and I got with Terry and his wife, and I mean, I've had a lot of driving, and uh, oh, some resting in between. Oh, oh, but see, I'm having to get down on my dang knees here. I can't even bend over correctly today. But boy, it just goes to show what kind of push some things will give some people. Mushrooms, arrowheads. Man, they push me to do things unbelievable. And I'm dying so bad to eat a mess. And this tree here, I always find some early blondes. And, uh, always find some early blondes. And, uh, I ain't got to see it yet. But I heard Timo found some mushrooms. I don't know if he found some blacks or whites or grays. But yeah, they're about two hours south of us. And then there's a little bitty one over there. And there may even be some more here if I get to looking hard. And these ain't very big. But by golly. And sometimes I'll pick them to leave them grow. Because these will probably get bigger. But I want to eat some mushrooms tomorrow night. Bad. Bad, 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 bad. So, I'm going to go. Oh, I see another little gray up there. I'm going to go ahead and pick these. And uh, add them to the mess. And I got just a few other odd trees to check up here. But, boy, I mean, I was beat last night when I get home tonight. And it takes me forever now. To do my videos since I've been adding slideshows at the end. Ooh, I, they just keep wrapping this tree, man. Little bitty grays. There's one. There's one. There's one. I still had that other one over there. This tree usually don't never produce that many early. So maybe it's going to be a better year than I think. Because by calendar date wise, we're still a week ahead of time. And then I know guys that say they won't even get out and pick big whites until turkey season. I think I'm going to leave that one there to grow. Because I know I'll come back to this tree in a couple days and pick some more. But I'm going to pick these pretty good size ones here. Especially once they start getting a little tannish on them. They're usually done growing. Oh! But I'll tell you what... Boy, mushrooms and arrowhead gives me power like you wouldn't believe. What the heck I do with my jugging stick? Oh, there it is. But I got a mushroom over here to pick. I've lost it now. 
That happens sometimes. Uh, especially probably because I'm worn out. <clears throat> and I mean, um, oh, oh, there's another one right there behind it there. I got the other one there. And I got a little one there. Need to get my bag out. But, uh, unless I find a couple more, these may be all I show. I got a heck of a hill. At least it's only one time down, <laughs> one time up. But uh, I'll, I'll try to get back to a few comments tonight. And when you go out all day and hunt and go out the next day and come home, I mean, I'm lucky to get a shower and get the video put together without being dead asleep. But uh, I will try and get back with people. I really appreciate you guys leaving the comments the way you do. And, uh, it looks like each day from now on it's going to be mushroom hunting, and then arrowheads, and then maybe back to mushrooms. I mean, even before my accident this time of year, I'd run myself ragged, and that's probably what I'm fixing to do, run myself ragged. And I'll probably hit a spot where I'll be in bed for about three days, but, hey, I'll be eating mushrooms. And I bet I'll have me another nice arrowhead to show for it, too. So, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. Well, done for the Brooksy analogy. It is uh, time to pick another mushroom and get off here. Well, at least if it's... Dang it. Sorry. If it's just a bunch of little grays, that means they're just starting here for us. I don't know if, if I call that a gray or a little common morel. So you got three stages of whites. You got your little commons that come out first, then your big whites, and then if it's a good year to go back to your little commons again. So. I don't know if to call that a common or a little gray. It looks more like a little white common. But this is one of them trees that will grow on early. It faces the south, but your south ground's always going to warm up the fastest. Let's have us a little look around this thing. Man, I just. I just keep waiting, waiting, running into that big mess. But I usually have to pack a lot of miles. And a mess here, and a mess there, and a mess here. But that's how I get my count up there to 600, 800, even 1,000 something one year. Well, I've seen people where they wait for them big whites to come up and they go pick 1,000 in one day. That's the kind of spot I need. I mean, I've picked a few hundred in a day. Well, that may have been it. A few more trees on the way out. Then it even started sprinkling on me. <sighs> Is the ground all wet? Well, we're having fun. Yeehaw!